welcome students so in continuation to the last video we are going to start the new video before i discuss let us quickly see what we are going to see in this video uh, first we will do some quick revision of the things that we did in the last video uh, we are also going to uh, talk about precedence of logical operators then we will see what is tautology contradiction and contingency and finally we will talk about logical equivalence so to start with this was one of the problem which i wanted you to complete uh, in the last video uh, i don't know how many of you have completed but uh, let us uh, do this here so uh, we have uh, three uh, variables p q and r now uh, since we have three variables p q and r it means that there will be eight rows in the truth table so first of all let us write the values that this combination of p q and r will take so the p can take the truth value q true and r true 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 false true false true true false false now i will start with f false true true false true false 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 true and finally false false and false so these are the different values uh, that p q and r will take so first we have to write the truth table for p implies q now we know that p implies q is false only when p is true and q is false but if p is false the truth value of q does not matter so i will write it like this first i will write this part so this will all be true without thinking much we can quickly write that this will all be true now i look at true and false so this will be false true and false so this will be false true and true so this will be true true and true so this will be true so we have the truth table for p implies q we next need negation of p because if i look at this bracket this uh, requires uh, the truth table of negation of p implies r so first of all let me write negation of p and nothing uh, much to uh, worry about these are all true so this will all become false 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 true 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 quickly next is negation of p implies r so negation of p implies r we have to look at this column and then we have to look at this column and if the first is uh, a statement is false and this statement does not matter so if it is false i will write true 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 i hope you got my point when i am starting with negation of p and uh, if the negation of p a statement is false then we are not even looking at what is the truth value of r because we know that this is false only when the first statement is true and the next statement is false so now it is true it is true this will also be true it is true this is false so this will be false true and true true and true and false this will be false finally we have uh, to get the truth table for p implies q or negation of p implies r so let me write p implies q or negation of p implies r so i am going to look at which two column this column and this column and we are going to combine with or operator so true 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 uh, false true true false true 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 and true again true true and false 
again true, true and true, again true, true and false, again true. So here we look at this column and this is how its truth table will look like because uh, in this column all the values are coming to be true. Take a pause, see if you have understood it or not, try rewriting yourself. In case of doubt, uh, look at the video again, right? Move to the next. So the next thing that we are going to talk about is the precedence of logical operators. So there are different operators. We talked about negation operator, uh, AND operator, OR operator, conditional operator and biconditional operator. So this is the pre precedence that we associate with them. Like this is given the first precedence, this is given the second pre precedence, this is given the third, this one is fourth and this one is fifth. What does that basically means? By precedence, suppose somewhere it is written that negation of P uh, and Q. Now the question arises that should it be seen as negation of P and Q? means should I first uh, evaluate what is P and Q and then should I take the negation or uh, the second po uh, possibility is that we should take negation of P first and then we combine it with uh, Q. So there are two possibilities here since it is not specified there is no bracket uh, written over here. In that case what we do we associate the first precedence to uh, negation means first we have to evaluate the negation of P and then we have to take AND uh, this Q. So this will be the right way to look at this expression. Let us look at uh, some more. Suppose I uh, write P or Q implies R. So here also there are two possibility. One possibility is that we can look at like P or Q implies R. Right. So first take Q implies R and then take its uh, composition with OR. Another possibility is that we can look at like P or Q and then this implies R. So here uh, as you can see from this table, this OR operator gets a higher precedence. It is given the third precedence. So this will be taken first and then we will evaluate this. Yes or no? Similarly, if I look at one more, suppose I write P and Q or R. So you see that AND gets the first precedence. So it means what? That it will look like P and Q and then OR R. So uh, by precedence we mean that in uh, absence of appropriate bracket how should we look at the expression or how should we evaluate the expression. Right? Move to the next. Okay. So uh, now we are going to talk about what is tautology, contradiction and contingency. So a compound proposition that is always true no matter what the truth value of the propositional variable that occur in it is called a tautology. If you recall the first problem that we did in that uh, truth table. Uh, in the last column all the variables all the values were uh, taking true value so that was a tautology right a compound proposition that is always false is called contradiction and uh, there may be compound propositions which may neither be a tautology nor be a uh, contradiction those are known as contingency if you quickly look at this table here we have a uh, two uh, compound proposition P or negation of P and another one is P and negation of P. So if I take P as true uh, and uh, false then negation of P will be false and true. So what will be the truth table for P or negation of P? True false we know will be true, false true we know will be true. So we are getting all the truth value as true. So this statement, this statement is a tautology right because it is taking uh, all the truth value as true now if you look at this column here p and negation of p uh, this is false because true and false is false so this is false and false and true is also false so this uh, column means p and negation of p is always taking the 
false value so this a statement will be called as a contradiction yes i hope there is uh, no doubt in it okay move to the next now uh, the next thing that we are going to talk about is logical equivalence and this is one of the most important aspect of logic uh, how do you define the logical equivalence compound proposition that have the same truth values in all possible cases are uh, called logically equivalent right uh, like uh, if there are two uh, statement and they are logically equivalent so we write them as p is logically equivalent to q so we use this notation uh, there is another way of defining the logical equivalence that if we have two compound proposition p and q uh, and if this biconditional statement p if and only if q is a tautology in that case we say that p and q are logically equivalent yes so uh, let us uh, look at uh, this problem and try to quickly prove that these two statements are logically equivalent so we have p q and uh, we calculate p or q uh, then we calculate negation of p or q we require negation of p and negation of q so i write negation of p i write negation of q and here i write negation of p and negation of q so the truth value that it will take true 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 false false true false false what is p or q you all know true 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 false what is negation of this false 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 true what is negation of p false false true true what is negation of q uh, false true false true now i have to take and so false and false 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 and true again false true and false again false and true and true is true so if you look at the truth table means this column and this column for all possible values of p and q they are taking the same truth value like this is false this is also false this is false this is also false this is false this is also false this is true this is also true means these two statements are known as logically equivalent statement and uh, proving that two statements are logically equivalent the most fundamental way to approach to the problem is to just uh, write their truth table right let us see one more problem now if you look at this we have to show that p implies q and negation of p or q are logically equivalent so what we can do we can write p we can write q we can write p implies q negation of p negation of p or q right what is p true 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 false false true false false we know it is false only in this case in all other cases this takes the truth value negation of p uh, false false true true and negation of uh, p or q so true false true false 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 true 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 false true true so if you look at this column uh, p implies q we have the truth value true here here also true false here here also false true here here also true and true here and here also true it means that p implies q uh, the truth value for this and for negation of p or q the truth values are same so as per the definition p implies q uh, will be logically equivalent to negation of p or q okay so this is all in this video we will uh, talk about logical equivalence in further detail in the next video thank you do watch it and in case of doubt put your comments